Ed Dang, congratulations on winning the doubles here at Wirral. Uh, pretty good run. You won at Sheffield last week. Another doubles title here this week, Ed. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, we started playing together towards the end of last year out in the States. And um, we've uh, played pretty solidly together. Had some, some good weeks and some poor weeks. But so far, at the start of this year, we've been pretty solid. And I think, as you say, I mean, you're, from a doubles point of view, you're doing well on that. Both of you are doing well on the singles court. Singles is obviously a priority, but it must be nice, Dan, uh, getting a few doubles results under your belt too. Yeah, definitely. Um, I thought we're pretty good doubles players together. We knew we could do well. Obviously, singles is our priority, so sometimes it's tough, long days when you've got doubles as well. But we've been playing good doubles, so it's just it's nice to be on court because... It's nice to have a person there on court with you for a change as well. You can talk things out on the court. So. I mean, we're fourth week of four, so it's obviously sort of been quite a gruelling four weeks. Did it ever cross your minds at all that perhaps you give doubles a miss this week to save the body a bit or, or not? Oh, well, I haven't been playing as many matches, so I've been <laughs> relatively fresh. But uh, no, he hasn't mentioned anything, so if, if both our bodies are good, then we'll try and play both. Yeah, yeah. I thought about it on the... Uh, on the Monday morning a couple of times, but I was like, it's probably too late for him to find a partner now, so stick it out with him. Yeah, I don't think Ed would have uh, forgiven you on that one, uh, Dan. Um, thanks a lot. Well done this week. I think we'll end the interview, Dan, before we actually start going into other territory. Thank you very much.